The role of the warden is very varied. Um, we like to think of ourselves as the eyes and ears of the communities in which we work and we act as a signpost to all other agencies. The wardens have, have improved the community for older residents because they now have someone they know, someone they feel comfortable talking to. I've got ointment and tablets to take. Yeah. Face-to-face -face contact is very important. We might be the only people that say that they speak to you during the course of the day. So it's, it, it's breaking that isolation. You'll get your cell phone and get your feet up then, yeah. sweetheart, all right? On patrol, there are so many different things that we look for. It can be anything from graffiti. It can be fly tipping, fly posting. But we also act very much as a high visibility point where anybody can approach us and it can be questions as simple as where's the nearest whatever bank it's there on the left hand side sweetheart to i have a really serious problem with my neighbors with I children see. playing outside my house who do i need to speak to to go and get something done about it everything all right the answers of the night time being a bit loud sometimes i'll have a word with the uh, with the local Bobby and yeah. see whether or not he can actually get an extra patrol perhaps round just on occasion. I've lived in Tor Bay itself for over 20 years now. Drug dealers used to queue up opposite where I live to use the phone. Drunks used to sit on the benches around there. That's all been cleaned up. As far as I'm concerned, that's through Sue and the street wardens team and it's made it so much happier place to live and a nicer place to walk around. So the little small problems which sort of pile up and pile up in people's lives, Sue's able to um, you know, come to a satisfactory outcome to that to um, sort of solve the problems. And that was obviously made the community a lot, lot better and a lot safer. We could do with a lot more Sue's of this world. I mean, she, she is brilliant. She really is brilliant. We like to think ourselves as the last piece to go into the jigsaw puzzle to make the picture complete. Without us, you might just as well throw the rest of the picture away. I'm uh, Melody Barber, I'm a commuter warden for older people in Salford. The Health Hips and Arts class started um, Probably about 18 months ago now, and then since that I've set up another three groups, so there's actually four groups within the area which attracts different people. We're going to do some uh, warm-up exercises first. And the, the exercises themselves benefit your health-wise, for your mobility, to stopping trips and falls, helping your joints, movements of joints so you don't get stiff. Brilliant, just give that a shake out. To reach out to the community, I uh, produce a, a newsletter which I put um, into the community centres, into the doctor's surgeries, in the dentists, anywhere where older people would go and actually see the newsletter. And in the newsletter it states where, the, where there is a coffee morning or where they could go to a computer course or the healthy hips and hearts groups. And that's it. <laughs> doctor's surgeries, um, if people go to them with, with health issues, they refer them to the health hips and arts groups as well. Does your fingers end up being cold? Is, is it just I'm cold all the time? Oh yeah, right. We always have a good laugh. I stay for dinner, which I don't have to cook when I go home. And it's really great. They have lunch and then, you know, they have activities in the afternoon. Um, some people actually join other groups with the friends they've met. I get a lot of kick out of it through the fact that I've made, made new friends. Yeah. Months ago, I'd only walk a few, a few yards and I'd have to stop. We just talk about everything, everything that's going on in our lives. And we probably help one another by sharing. It's made me feel that I have an incentive to come out on a Monday, even if it's raining. And, you know, if you, when you live on your own and you can be in 
five days a week. So the incentive to come here, I think, is, is a very big thing for me. Just to stop isolation, getting people out of the houses and they're not sat in looking at the same four walls, it gets, gets them out of the house and, and, and have some fun. I live in sheltered accommodation and there's quite lots of ladies my age there and they've asked me could I get a class together to do hips and hearts. So I said yes, so I volunteered to go on a course and now I've got a class of my own. So that's one point for Melody because she's taught me how to do it. Do, doing healthy hips and hearts because you're doing it on a one-on-one -on -one or they see me on the street so again it's face-to-face -face contact. Um, you, do, you, do, you do build a bond and, and you build trust. Mel is a, a wonderful person. She's um, out an, an awful lot with me. To her you're an individual, you're not a name on a piece of paper and I think that's very, very important. Coming here it's sort of getting a community together again. Uh, people know me, they, they know they can, they can get in touch with me if they need help with filling in a form or referring them to social services and things like that. Um, if my service wasn't here, then I'm, I'm, I don't know, they, they turn to it. So it's very important to have, to have these classes and, and to have community wardens out on the streets. Over half of the homeowners in Castlevale are age 60 or over and many of these homeowners uh, have a low income or are reliant on state benefits. So Raswana's role was created to enable these homeowners access to services and to help them uh, maintain their homes. It's Ros here from Castlevale. Our service bridges the difference between the services provided to tenants and homeowners and it gives the community the reassurance that there's somebody there to listen to them and they know that the inquiry will be dealt with. I'm just chasing up the handyman referral that I sent to you. The handyman service is where a person, if they need help with minor repairs, security issues, um, carbon monoxide detectors, smoke detectors, the handyman can provide and fit those for free. And I also assist with things like taking people shopping if they need help with that, picking up prescriptions, contacting utility companies on their behalf. She has a really friendly approach which is, encourages a lot of homeowners to access the service. Hello, you okay Mary? I think home visits are important because older people like that face-to-face -face contact and it reduces isolation because some people may not have another person visiting them all week. How are you doing? I'm fine, yeah. are you? I'm okay, thank That's you. Good, yeah. yes. I get on really well with Mary, we have a really good laugh and a joke and I've been conducting home visits for a couple of months to her. Did you bring your wedding photo? I did, we yeah, just here. She was concerned about her health and safety because she lived on her own and she has problems with mobility. So we recommended the Senior Link uh, pendant alarm system. I literally have this with me all the all time. The time. Good. I even forget I've got it on and go out with it. Good. <laughs> Things like the door locks, door chain, grab rails, a carbon monoxide detector, all those were fitted through the handy van service and that helps um, her be more confident. If I do want anything doing, I just phone you up, don't I? Any problems yeah. at all. I, I was a bit out on a limb really, you know, yeah. so no, meeting you and knowing what you do, it has made a big difference to my life, yes. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Best thing about my job is being able to help people. Uh, who may not receive the help and support from other people and just knowing that they can trust me and that I'll do the best for them. I've been a warden in the South Manchester area for the last four and a half years um, and I've been coming to Rose Court um, coffee morning I would say virtually from first starting. Morning everybody, morning. Morning. coffee morning, morning again. Morning. Main benefits of coffee mornings are the social interaction with other people. Yeah. Who else wanted another brew? We learn things from each other about what's going off especially for me because I can't get out and it's a laugh we have a good laugh and everything. Also they get to know us as wardens more on a one-to-one -one basis. Is that okay? Thank you. I can pick up a phone to phone the wardens or anybody, but if I come in here, it's a one-to-one -one and it's more personal, isn't it? You know, you feel easier talking to somebody than just somebody at the end of the phone you don't know. She's so easy going, you can tell personal things as well. 
feels like she's part of us, you know what I mean? Coffee mornings are somewhere where we can show people, tell them the things that we do. Patrolling their streets, patrolling their back alleyways, getting the rubbish that's been dumped shifted, getting the untaxed vehicles shifted. Tommy, yeah. how are you getting on with your bins? But I don't always get a chance to see the wardens, because if I see them walking, by the time I get to the door with being disabled, they've gone. Nikki sorted that problem out for me. I can always come down here and meet them. We're also like a signposting agency. We work very closely with agencies such as the City Council, the street environment managers, the police. The anti-social behaviour around here used to be really bad. They've sorted all that out now. It's a thing to get nice thing to get together, which I've never had the opportunity of doing until I came to Rose Court. I've seen um, lots of um, people's quality of life change since they've been attending the coffee mornings. My dad died uh, all of a sudden in October. Since October, uh, down here is full of void, which wouldn't have been there, and I just turned in on myself and building up new friendships and that, you know, it's a whole new lease of life for some people. I'll see you all next week. Yeah. Yeah. And you know where we are if you've got any problems. What a great job to get paid to do. Age is not a disease. Or a misfortune. Or a cause for pity. It's not a state or a condition. It is life. It is human, it is us.